there guys, uh, this is Kylie or Kylie's Chasing Dreams um, with weeks 7, 8 and 9 and yes, yeah, so I'm sorry, I'm not as regular as what I should be, um, I'm going to try and do them weekly um, but the Thursday just seems to keep rolling on and on and on so um, so here's my stats, uh, week 7 I lost uh, 0.8 which is 1.7 pounds uh, week 8 I lost 2.6 kilos which is 5.71 pounds or 5.7 pounds, sorry, um, and week 9 was a uh, half kilo, which was minus 1.1 pound. Um, my highest weight was 156 kilos, which is 343.9, and my start weight was 145 kilos, or 319.6 pounds. Um, my current weight is 125 exactly, um, which is 275.5 pounds, and a total loss of, drum roll, brrr, 20 kilos, so um, which is 44.1 pounds. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, scales have dropped a little bit since then, but um, yeah, that'll be next week's update if I get my butt into gear and do it on time. Um, okay, so that was pretty good. I was quite happy with my 20 kilo loss. I um, was quite excited. Um, I haven't really noticed, I have a bit noticed a little bit in my clothes and stuff, but just because I've got so much to lose, um, I really don't feel that, yeah, it's come off really quickly or anything like that, but I am only nine weeks out and um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I've noticed that I have two slow weeks and then one really good week, so um yeah, week 10 I think will be a slow week and then hopefully week 11 will be a big one and we'll boost it back up again. So we'll just see if that continues um, that way. Okay, so what's been happening over the last three weeks? Um, well, we've had Easter. Um, Easter was pretty good. I didn't have any chocolate at all. I was, um, I'm not a real big sweet tooth, so chocolate wasn't a big deal for me. Um, I did try a couple of hot cross buns. Um, I started out at um, a quarter at a time, and then um, I think basically I was able to eat a half to three quarters um, in one sitting. But um, I think in total I had two altogether, so or two and a half, something like that. So where pre sleeve I would have been buying them bags and bags of them weeks before Easter and just having them all the time. So um, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, my food habits have changed a little bit. Um, some days I feel I can feel a, a bit more in than what other days. Um, I've been having soup for lunch and I bought some rolls and tried bread for the first time. Um, oh, my hot cross buns were bread too, but yeah, um, just an actual bread roll. And that sort of went down pretty easy, so um, I'm really getting a bit worried about bread. Um, I know that I should be having my protein and that sort of thing, but meat seems to sit really heavy and I can hardly fit a much of that in. So I'm pretty scared to um, keep eating meat. Um, I shouldn't be, but yeah, meat just seems to be, yeah. And then I can have some meat products one day and look at having it the next day because I still throw so much food out that yeah the next day it just repulses me um i had some chicken burgers and i had half of one of those and then the next day i thought oh yeah i'll have the other half but i just i ended up throwing the whole pack out um they went off and yeah and just thinking now oh let's have chicken burgers it's like mm, nuts like it was mm. even though it tasted okay like it wasn't off or anything like that it's just the thought of having them again has um really put me off and then the other day I had little baby meatballs and it's the same thing. They're sitting in the fridge and I'll probably end up throwing them out. Um, chicken isn't too bad. Um, but then I haven't really ventured into a lot of other meat either though. So, but yeah, I don't know why I'm scared of this bread thing because um, it tasted okay. Um, it's just like normal, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't want to get into that bad habit of craving bread because bread was one of my favorite things so and for it to taste good and be able to eat it two days in a row that sort of thing scares me a little bit um okay so 
What I thought I'd do is talk about a little bit about my childhood and growing up. Um, I'm a person who hides things away and don't really want to deal with things. Um, I'm not a person who goes get counselling. Um, I dealt with a, a couple of things probably two or three years ago and I had to go otherwise um, they'd lock me up. So basically I had to see someone and I just told them the basics and that was it. So um, I don't know if I could sit down and talk to someone one-on-one -on -one about just about me um, and it's really weird because here I am talking about <laughs> some of me of things about me so I don't know if it's easier just to talk to a camera or or what but um, yeah um, I don't know I just have this stigma about going to counselling so yeah maybe one day but yeah I can't deal with that at the moment but anyway I thought I'd sort of give you an insight on me growing up as a kid um, we moved towns probably two or three times when I was at school so grade six I moved from Portland in Victoria to um, Chikamoma um, and I was probably the biggest girl in grade six um, when I was here in Echuca so um, yeah, I didn't do many school activities. Um, I didn't do any sports or anything like that. I did take up tennis for a little while, but then, yeah, nothing came of that. I, I had um, too much of a weight issue. Um, I grew up in a milk bar, so everything was on tap to me. Soft drink, lollies, chips, you know, everything like that. All the bad things when growing up from, you know, 11, ages 11, 12 and 13. And that was when I really piled on the weight. Um, I don't have many great memories of when I was young, young, because I think I've just blocked those out. Um, I do remember counting calories when I was, like, mum and dad were counting calories for me when I was, like, six or seven. But, yeah, um, those sort of days, yeah, I think I've just completely blocked out. Um, high school was a bit tough. Um, living in Chikamoma is, in summer, it's pretty hot and I never t took my jumper off. Um, they were those cap sleeve dresses and I had the big arms and wouldn't wear wear my dress without a jumper on. Um, I remember one day and the kids forced my jumper off and I sat there and just bawled my eyes out. Um, Mum was actually doing canteen duty that day so she took me home and I wouldn't talk about it so yeah. Um, I never did PE. Um, I think I can remember in year eight or nine I walked out um, was supposed to do a 5k run and I walked to the gate and told the PE teacher not, not doing it and walked out. So I didn't really do any PE and basically I failed PE that year. So um, yeah, always chuck sickies on sports days. I think there was one year um, that I missed out on school photos because um, yeah, it was done before sports day. So yeah, I think year 10 I didn't get, get school photos done. Um, was never, never ever got a school uniform off the rack from the shops. It was always made for me. So, and I think um, in years like nine and ten, there was only one other girl that was bigger than me, um, and she was older as well. But then we moved to a new, I uh, moved to Ararat where my parents owned a pub or a hotel, and I guess that was a good year for me. Oh, I was sixteen, seventeen, and so drinking was um, the norm for me on the weekends with the patrons um, so yeah I didn't make many friends um, I nearly failed year 11 and 12 purely because I had stints of not deciding not going to school um, purely because they weren't nice to me um, yeah and I was the biggest one at at that school as well so you know there was times where I went to get my hair cut and they said oh someone's cut all the back of the hair and my hair so they did that in class when I didn't even know about it They'd send messages on my computer, um, they'd break into my, my thing and put nasty notes and um, the first day of school, um, the girl that I was supposed to show me around uh, dumped me and yeah, basically, luckily my sister was, my younger sister was at the same school and she um, found a teacher and got, you know, someone else to show me around but yeah, high school was tough, um, yeah, um, I, I feel I could have done a lot better but um, you know when 
you're not having fun at any join school you just don't want to go and yeah that just made it tough so I I think my life could have been a little bit different um, career-wise but um, that's the way things were dealt so um, yeah schooling was um, pretty crap for me so yeah um, then I started working and um, yeah uniforms it's always been tough for me even with my job now they've had to measure measure me and um, get special ones made my previous job I had to wear the men's shirts um, and because they were made in China um, you know they had ridiculous numbers on them like normally I'm a, in Australia a 26 um, but like the sizing was like a 40 something and it's like you've got to be kidding me so um, yeah um, at one stage we used to have a black and white uniform with a, an apron over top and they decided to get rid of the aprons and they wanted us to tuck our shirts in and I said no way um, so I had to do this big letter of you know why I wasn't prepared to wear the uniform that they wanted me the way they wanted so but thankfully that a few other people stuck up for me at that stage so um, yeah um, with all this, um, didn't help either. I did fall into depression a couple of years ago um, regarding work and, and everything. And that's when my weight did balloon. Um, my highest, as I said, was 156 kilos. So, um, yeah, um, a lot of things went in my head. Um, and I did some silly things to myself. And, yeah, um, I've got, gotten through that. But... There's still days where things get into my head and I think, why am I doing this? But I've got some beautiful nieces and nephews that, and beautiful sisters that get me through it. And hopefully <laughs> losing some of this weight will also get me through it as well. So, so there you go. You've gotten something out of me today. Um, Sorry to be on the downer side of things, but, um, you know, it's a bit, um, a bit like that through this sort of journey. You can be up one day and down the, the other day. So um, I'm just hoping that um, losing some of this weight will help me um, start enjoying things more. And, um, and I know weight isn't everything. But I feel that my weight has always held me back in a lot of things. Um, I did party plan sales, um, which for you Americans, um, a bit like Tupperware, but I sold linen. And I felt that um, my, my perception of my, myself, I thought that, you know, my weight was holding me back in how I sold things. Um, yes, the product sold itself, but to get to that high, I've never been able to get to that higher level in things. I've just, you know, cruised by and, yeah, that's it. So, um, also, um, relationships for me have not been easy, um, especially when, you know, someone I, I was seeing ended up leaving me for, for my so-called best friend. Um, so, trust issues are a big thing for me. Um, yeah. Um, especially when it comes to, to guys and friends around me. Um, even my best, one of my best friends, you know, I, I have funny things going through my head thinking, are they, you know, going behind my back or anything like that. And I think that comes down to my weight as well. Um, I don't see why would anyone want to be with someone this big. Um, and the, the only reason that they are is they're only after one thing. So, um, yeah, so I've always been funny when it comes to relationships. But then, you know, I do let a lot of people in, but then I only let them in so far. So that's me, relationships and me growing up. So hopefully next week I'll think of a more chirpier topic. But apart from that, I've got like 15 seconds to say goodbye. So thanks for listening and I'll catch you all next week. Okay, bye.